Hi everyone, it's 7.30 maybe in the morning and I might go back to sleep for another half hour but today at 12.45 I have an eyebrow appointment and I'm driving myself there. This whole thing is on me because my mom is taking my grandma to a doctor's appointment and then somewhere else and then she'll be home later today. So, last night I was like, Ugh, I have to get up all by myself. Like, I don't have any backup people to wake me up. I um have to figure out what I'm wearing. I have to like to figure out if I need to eat anything before I go and I need to make sure I leave the house no later than 12.30, like, I need to be in my car at 12.30, but 12.20 is preferable. And just be careful when I'm driving and parking, because I did a dry run yesterday, and I had a little trouble parking. <laughs> um, so I just gotta figure all that out, and then when all is said and done, I can come home and relax a little. Um... But, yeah, that's kind of what's going on, and I'm so tired, if you can't tell. And I've been really nauseous all night long, and I still feel like, ugh. And, um, I had a dream, um, pretty sure an anxiety dream. Uh, so my appointment, as I said, is at 12.45, and I dreamt. But I got in my car, or I thought it was my car, or a car, in my driveway, and I remember looking at the clock and just seeing the 45 number, and thinking I'm backing out of my driveway to go get my eyebrows done, when in fact, uh, my mom's pulling in the driveway, but like, I'm in the car, and at this point, it's like 345, and somehow I missed my appointment. I, like, slept through all my alarms. It was, like, my worst nightmare came true in this nightmare in my dream. And I was so upset. And my mom was like, oh, you can always reschedule. Like, do your eyebrows another time kind of thing. Like, it's not a big deal. And I'm just like, Ugh. So, yeah. This is like, ooh. And I'm really tired, though. Like, I went to bed at 3. And I, first, I've set so many alarms, like a 10 o'clock alarm, which I dismissed. I'm like, I'll sleep to 10.30, which I did, but I'll sleep a little more, I think. And I gotta figure out what I'm wearing. I gotta check out what today's weather is, and I really, honestly, I need to go to, like, Best Buy or something. There's this kind of, like, car charger I want for my phone, because I don't have one, my well, I have a car charger, but it's in my mom's phone, and the phone is in her car. It's too early for me right now. And the thought of me driving around without one is just nerve-wracking, so, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Okay, I'll, uh, yeah, 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 I'll see y'all later. Isn't it like a OTD? I swear, there's a lot of blue going on. But this shirt's really long and comfortable. Got my jeans and my sneakers and a hot, messy bathroom. So I got these shirts for like $9 um, on Black Friday, was it? Maybe, I don't know. I like Nordstrom them off the rack. However, if you ever have this problem, I usually get this problem with like white shirts and it'd be like over time, like deodorant and stuff has chemicals in, in it and all that. And sometimes it'll like turn the pit of your shirt a color. And this happened the first time I wore this shirt. I was like, dang. But, I don't know, I'm just, like, I've really been enjoying this sweater lately. It's very springy, although it's, like, January outside and cold, but got my bracelets. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock, and I should go downstairs and get some stuff ready. Um, my little kitty's over there. So, I'm gonna try to explain, like, what I want to get to you guys. Um, I'll show you a picture somewhere. Uh, so basically, my car, 
even though it's only a year old and it's a 2014 model it's kind of archaic in certain areas so it doesn't have a cd player it doesn't have like much but what it does have i enjoy so i want to get a special charger for my phone like um and sorry i'm out of frame because i don't need that i'm looking for things like my allergy medicine um yeah so the makeup by kim i was watching it's probably on her vlog channel life with kim she was like road tripping with her boyfriend for spring break was it like last year to florida and she got this thing off of Amazon, so I could probably order it online, but I'm also, too, thinking, like, um, going to Best Buy or something. It looks like, I don't have anything I can show you. I don't think so. It looks like a car charger, like, the port bit that you could stick into, like, where you put car chargers. And the top of it is flat. It has two USB ports. So I can use two USB cables. So one I can use my phone. The other I'm planning on using for an iPod. I have dreams. I've kind of put this project on hold. I did a video about it, which y'all might have seen. Where I'm importing all my music onto iTunes, which I'm then going to import to a old iPod of mine. This way, if it's like on the verge of death and dying while I'm driving, I can plug it in and charge her up. And also, I can charge my phone because what I do is I have an auxiliary cord and I have an auxiliary port. So I'm able to listen to music, but I like, if I'm going to be driving forever and ever, I don't want to not be without some sort of charging mechanism for this phone. So whether I just get a regular phone charger or get that thing that I want, I don't know, but it's on my list of things. So, wait, wait, who? It's 11.54. Don't know how long this video is going to be. I was feeling kind of lengthy. Um, no, and my little filth. And so my mom was like, oh, be ready at 2 o'clock. Like, we're going to, like, go have fun today. Because uh, our plans changed. Um, this evening we were supposed to do something. But I guess we're not doing it anymore. And she, I was supposed to look, Google something too. I don't know, my phone. I'm like, where did it go? Um, because, okay, I'm on like the hunt for crystals. Like, about crystals, I'm talking natural things like rose quartz. This, I think I got this in Utah. Um, and I know there's like stores out in California and like anywhere out west can find all that lovely stuff but what I did because I'm trying my hardest here so if you ever watch Joey Graceffa on if I said his last name right on YouTube you know that he's like obsessed with crystals and he goes to this store called like Spellbound in LA but there's one vlog where he went somewhere else and I've like found that vlog or found like kept going back to what he said it was called and I went on their website, and they had, like, an index from, like, A to Z. And I went through and, like, wrote down everything. Um, and what I, and now I'm, like, rewriting it in a different way on this the paper here. So, basically, what I did, going from, like, A all the way to L. No, it's not L, is it? Oh, W. Oh, we made a W. So, like, anti-inflammatory, anxiety, you know, like, whatever the ailment is. And then I wrote down all the stones that go with it. Now what I'm doing is going through and writing down the stones. So, like, alexandrite, turquoise, um, quartz. You know, I can't always pronounce every, all of them. Um, but that's okay. And then next to it, writing down what purpose it serves, because I noticed as I kept going through these that some of these um, like came up for like more than once. So, for example, if I can give you one, um, 
So amethyst, all right, there you go, amethyst. Um, it helps anxiety, it's calming, headaches, insomnia. So then if you go here and you look up um, those things I just mentioned, you would see alexandrite. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and writing down each stone and then anywhere I see it else written down, I cross it off, meaning it's rewritten. Like Santa, I'm making a list and checking it twice. <laughs> and then I um, write down like where else I see it so I know what it's useful or used for. Although I could easily walk into a store. Um, there might be this, there's this place near my house. It's like a psychic like reading place that has like books, crystals, and candles. And I'm a little hesitant to go in there. But my mom's like, oh, you could totally drive yourself there and go there. I'm like, you want me to just go in? Like, I don't know what kind of what's going on in there, um, <laughs> so, but anyways, I'm sure if you go somewhere that's, like, uh, notable, wait, is notable a word, uh, credible, there you go, um, they could obviously educate you and tell you what is what, um, and maybe all this is for nothing, but I feel like it's been a good project to keep my mind busy, so, I don't know, so today she's like, oh, maybe we can go find some gemstones and, like, crystals and all that, and I'm just like, but I didn't finish rewriting my list. And now that I'm like crossing things off on what I already wrote, it's kind of like, are we going to be able to read it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm making too big of a deal of this. But um, my nerves today is like, ooh, <coughs> ooh excuse me. Like, um, I don't know why this is so nerve wracking. Mm. But I'm taking you guys on my journey of... You know, like, I made sure that I was, like, ready to go, and I'm almost ready to go, but I don't have to go just yet, and that's, like, the thing, just, like, the waiting, and, oh, my God, makes your anxiety worse. I should go take an anti-anxiety medicine, let that start kicking in, take 20 minutes, <laughs> get that in my system. Now that I'm more awake, I figured if I'm still, like, and then I take a Klonopin, I might be asleep, or I might not, um... Knowing myself, so I thought, well, I have some time, I might go work on this some more and make sure I have everything that I need in my bag. Um, and if I need to eat anything, I should do that or bring like a granola bar or something with me. That's probably a smart idea. So I should be home. Well, let's see. My appointment's at 12:45. I'm planning on leaving like 12:20 just to give myself an extra 10 minutes. Probably, I don't know if I need it, but better safe than sorry. And, um, doesn't take that long to get your eyebrows done. And then, well, do that. Then I gotta pay. Then I gotta get in my car, come home. So, I'm guessing like anywhere between 1 30 and 2, I'll be home. And my mom's like, be ready at 2 to hit the ground running. So. I don't know, but I should Google what she wants me to Google, because she's thinking about going to this place that she mentioned. I was like, isn't that where I wanted to go that one day? But we ended up going to Princeton. Um, was it a Halloween? It was on Halloween, y'all. It was Halloween. We were trying to do something fun, and I wanted to go like a ghost tour in Princeton, and I still do. But everything was like sold out on Halloween. So... But we still went to Princeton anyway because the other place was farther away and I was worried about mm, mm, dinner and things and I don't know. But anyway, so yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> I, probably, I just found my cat. It's probably upstairs. Thought we should come find her food. Uh, it's like 12.17. Get my car by 12:20. I'm making a bigger deal of this than it is, and hopefully I have everything. Be there for a second. Um, the mustard balloon looks like it rained. I don't know, there's like water droplets on my car. <laughs> no, it rained last night. Yes, it's nice and sunny. It's um, I'm 
time is that? Shush. It's 20 o'clock. It just says 00, zero dot, dot 20. So I'm guessing it's 1220. Uh, okay, does this clock not work? So I'm in my car and I'm gonna go hit the road and I'll see ya when I see ya. And this is gonna be a really long video and I'm sorry, but I need to get better at vlogging. I seriously do. Okay, see ya. So it's 34. That's the time. <laughs> Clearly it means it's 1234. I don't know why the minutes, is it the minute? No, the minutes worked hour hand on here isn't working, but I just pulled into my parking spot, which is the library, because I'm going to walk down, so I need to go from the library, and yesterday we, like I said, did a dry run, and it was nice, and not nice, funny was, um, there was a speed bump that wasn't, uh, painted. So I'm like, at least I listen to where it was today to go slow and to go over it. I might eat a granola bar. Um, I do have some time. I might hop in the library to chill. Um, and then head on down. So, when the price is right. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. But, better early than late. Whew. No idea what time it is. That took longer than expected. Bernie was running late, so everyone was a little behind. And let's see. Oh, it's 122. Um, I'm debating if I need my sunglasses because to my left it looks like it's going to rain, but to my right there's still some cloud. I mean, sun, but I don't know. I think I'll just be better off in sunglasses. I'll find them, that'd be nice. And I got my eyebrows on. So excited. Seriously, though, where are my sunglasses? I got nervous for a minute. I'm like, did I lose them? But they're prescription. I mean, they're expensive for many reasons. So if someone tried to hijack them, thinking be like, oh, Dior glasses, but the prescription they won't be able to see. I honestly like just can't wait to get home and have lunch and I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get out of here and go home. Did I go home the way we practiced yesterday or not? I don't know. We shall see. Is my door closed? Okay. Hopefully, yes. So I'm going to head home now and I'll see y'all when I get there. So I'm home. It's 1.33. And my mom's like, be ready by two. I have half an hour to do that. I need to have lunch. I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, my appointment was at like 12.45. And when I, I mean, I got there like a little early. So I need to be waiting like five minutes at least. But the lady that I'm, was like working reception, like I'm not used to her. So she's like, oh, Bernie's running late. So I don't know if it meant like she hadn't gotten there yet or she was running late with a client. And then eventually... Some woman came out with a kid, and she looked like she had her eyebrows done. Looks like it could rent. Oh. So, um, like, oh, well, that kind of makes somewhat of a sense. I don't know. But last time I checked my phone to see what time it was, it was, like, 12.55, almost 1 o'clock. So then she comes out, and then she's, like, starts apologizing to this woman. And then it's, like, then takes me back, and she's just like, oh, I'm holding everyone up. Like, ah. So, I mean, it's okay, dokie. So. Well, I'm gonna make sure everything's turned off in this car. Go inside and make my lunch. And I still have to Google stuff, but I'm loving these eyebrows. They're just beautiful. So, see you later. So, my lunch is cooking. I'm in the decided to finish my project that I started before I left. And I have a feeling this ooh, look at my eyebrows. It's all red. Um, I have a feeling this video is really long or on the long side and I don't want to drag it out any further. I may do more filming later. I don't know because I honestly like don't have a clue what we're doing. Uh, so with that being said, I thought I would close this one out and you might have like two separate videos but like it's like filmed on the same day i don't know but anyways um i'm just like hey i just did something amazing huh i'm really in a good mood right now
And I'm going to continue to enjoy my good mood. I'm going to continue working on my, like, crystal project, whatever you want to call this thing I'm working on over here. And probably making more work for myself. Yeah, I don't know. But, hey, it's something to do. <laughs> so, my lunch is cooking. Can't wait to eat it. I'm, like, really hungry. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting a little blood sugar. I haven't had anything to eat today because of my nerves, the driving, and then just other things. And, oh, my gosh. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions and suggestions down below. And let me know if you like this, if there's any way I could improve this. I'm sure there is. I'm just like, gotta get in my in the group of things. So, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, there I go. Beep, beep, beep. Don't forget to subscribe and check the description box for all my social media stuff so you can follow me everywhere on the internet practically. <laughs> and as always, till next time, keep it quirky.